hello, hello everyone. So after dealing with iron issues for the longest time, I decided to get myself the two lion iron. Because literally almost, I made a post sometime on Instagram and almost everybody in the comment section would say, get this one, get this one. So I've gotten it. So I wanted you to unbox with me. Okay, I got a, I got the Teflon, this thing I'll show you. So how does this work? I guess like this. And then I can pull that out. Okay. So you know what helped to make a proper buying decision for me? It was this thing, 1,600 watts. No, I said I was looking for an iron that is like a thousand, a thousand two hundred, or even a thousand one hundred watts. But I think I can manage this one that is one thousand six hundred. So let's open up. I like the way it is packed. So everything sits inside the bucket ish. Nice. So this is the bucket for the water. Okay handle of the bucket then it has this hose thingy and then the iron it smells like new shoe <laughs> okay okay not bad <clears throat> okay there's a manual thank god so that i can see you know in case anything so let's set this baby up um so before i went to buy it i watched tons of videos because i wasn't about to just buy something that i wouldn't know how to use so it comes with this hose it comes with a bunch of clips i know these are clips because i've worked with electricians too much <laughs> It comes with a bunch of clips, and then this thing that I don't know what it is. I guess I'll check the manual for it. Okay, so how is this put together? First of all, our bucket. We'll put the handle. This one is the easiest. <laughs> and then we need to pass the hose through here. We need to go through here. So just keep twisting, keep twisting. It will go in. Okay, that baby is in. Then afterwards, you need to use a clip to hold it in place. Like so, so that it doesn't come off. And then you also need to put your the second end of your hose into this part of the iron. So you're going to take off this black... Uh, thing they used to cover it. So after putting this over here, we also need to pass this here. But before doing that, we're going to put this spring. Okay, great. So now we can put this here. I think the aim of the spring is supposed to like make this place to stand so that the water comes nicely. So I'm twisting just like I did. And then yet another clip to hold that in place. So the clip comes such that one side is big and one side is small. So I am thinking that the small side is the one that is supposed to sit on the hose. Oh yes, I'm right. Because I was wondering why this one was moving like this. So, and then the big side would be to hold the iron. Okay. Yeah, I was right. So then, afterwards, I think we may also need to clip here because if you look closely, you can see that there's a joining over here like this to the hose. So, we may also need to clip that. Okay, so this is fine. And then I'll take off the, I don't even know what this thing is called, but I like it in products. I can't explain why I like it. 
So then we'll take that off. And now we're going to be flipping our wire. If you want to, I mean, I don't think I'm going to be using this thin part of it. The iron has a lot of weight. Let me not say, let me not say a lot of weight, but it is heavy. It's considerably heavy. So I don't know if I want to use the thin part. But then you can clip your... You're going to need a clip here so that your spring is not going up and down. Don't forget, smaller side. This, so your clip is not really moving. So your spring is not really moving as much. And then you can clip these two together. Like this. At this point, you can also clip together if you want. Don't forget, in the case of if you want. So, our iron is set up. Um, this iron came with... This iron came with this, the iron rest, because if you notice, it can't stay like this. Because this is just too heavy. So, when you iron, you drop it on your iron rest. I bought a Teflon cover. I work with the small Ankara fabrics a lot. They are really, really prone to burning because it's like, we say 30% wax, then 70% cotton. So that 30% wax likes to show itself. So that's why I bought this, so that there is no burning because this would really prevent the outfit from burning. Okay, so after you've plugged your iron to power, this is where you turn it on, the switch here, and then you're able to regulate the hotness level that you want. There's one up until five. So, of course, one is the least hottest and five is the hottest. Um, and then for your steam, this is where it is. In fact, it's written over there, steam. So this is where your steam is. So when you connect your water bucket and all of that, if the water coming out from your iron is too much, please come to this knob and regulate. If it's too much, tighten it here. If it's not coming out enough, loosen this just so that, you know, you get the right amount of steam that you need. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two. I'm going to go ahead and hang my <laughs> my bucket. I'm still thinking if I want to use it or not. Um, it's because I don't have anywhere to hang the bucket, meaning that I need to get someone to come and help me create something where I can hang my bucket. But in the meantime, I'm still going to be using my iron bucket or no bucket. So, you guys have a nice day. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. If not, bye.